Wah. Hey folks, it's me, that guy, in that weird internet box. So, uh, last week when I left off, we were in a slightly different position. I will explain. Um... We uh we were in this lab and we had just murdered this person through these bars. And I couldn't figure out how to get in. Uh and I thought I needed some more hacking skill. So after I cut the stream, I went and I just uh went outside and grinded. I just killed random stuff until I got a uh, high enough level. As it turns out hacking skill not what I needed. Uh, there was a door I missed somewhere in here. Uh, this one. And that's where I needed to go. So, I believe I said earlier that, uh, doors aren't exactly super obvious in this game. And it has already, uh, been an issue. So, I did do that, get the thing, came in here, stole the research that she had previously stolen. So, so I double stole it? I don't know. It's mine now. Uh, now I need to figure out how to get out of here. This seems like a dead end. What's this? Wait, what is this? You have a secret vault. Let me in. There's an elevator? Bro, I didn't know this was here. Wait, did I use the elevator last time? I don't remember anything. Purpleberry punch. Holding E to transmit. Ah. I'm a professional. <clears throat> uh, oh man, I got a lot of stuff. I should sell most of this. Uh, this is probably fine. Inferno Scythe. That's where it's at. Uh, armor is a bit of a weird one because. Our current heavy armor... Oh, right. We're supposed to... This one. Right? Yeah. Our heavy armor situation makes us bad at things. Like picking locks. Which is really annoying. Also, there's definitely some amount of, like, can I not equip this? Okay. Perfect. If I need to, like, speak to someone, I guess I can uh, throw on this terrible bowler's hat that's covered in blood? Yeah, covered in blood. Interesting. This actually has higher DPS, despite having lower base damage. And, like, it's cool, you know, it's, uh, uh, what do you call it, like, masterwork or whatever. But, like, fire scythe.
Uh, are we just trying to leave? Like, do we really have anything else to do here? Oh, I didn't do that. Didn't do that either. These are things that I have failed. <laughs> I guess we're just leaving, so... Wait, can I just fast travel into my ship? Oh my god. That's so nice. I have acquired systems and serfdoms. Oh, your face is a sight for sore ocular processors, Captain. Or rather, your headgear is. What up, computer bot? We out this town. Back to the flying barge. Yes, no? I thought I clicked the thing. Destination reached. The groundbreaker. Mantis Swarm. Oh, they're tiny. I was about to say, that would be terrifying, but uh, they're like this big. Definitely thought they were like a foot long. And I was like, yeah, I don't want any part of that. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about... Um... Totally not Borderlands, uh, well, basically that, the fact that you buy things from vending machines that are all, uh, different, like, vendors. So you should really only be selling the somewhat expensive ones. And then just breaking these guys down. Uh, we'll keep... I don't know. Keep the flamethrower, because it's cool. Yeah, right. Oh, I was probably supposed to sell that too. I don't think it matters that much. Secret research and a gun. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up, someone will get to snooping around there before you do. What's that? Speak up now. Would you turn up? Peaches and cream. 
If that isn't the most handsome bit of lethal engineering I've seen all week. That will go for a tidy sum of bits. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a patch Ooh, of my favorite sugar, sugar cookies. cookies just to sweeten the deal. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. These corporations, I tell you. Once they get an idea into their big, dense heads, there's no getting it out again. Can't imagine how I'll offload this. But voice not, want not, I suppose. I don't remember getting uh, fancy toothpaste. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit anytime. Won a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub. She's a fierce arm wrestler, but she's no match for your pal Gladys. Oh, so I'm like 400 short of buying the thing I need. Lame. Well, instead of just trying to sell a bunch of random junk, let's go do one of these other quests. Right? Other quests will get me things. Oh, I have a lot more mods than I thought. Hmm. Yeah, these are pretty nice. Just, like, increases my dialogue skills. That's pretty good. Although, just, uh, being a tank. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, something like this. Go uh, talk about medical supplies or something. Ah, hello, Moon Man. Well, sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh. And it's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. And sometimes I forget. I like this man. But I do not care to talk to him. I'm not going anywhere, you hear? You can't keep me out of there. Please. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? Yes. See him, Furu? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. What seems to be the problem? Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical Makes supplies sense. here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. 
We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. That is what I'm implying. Let me interrogate them. Take care. How do I use... How do you I use a disguise? I, I got the Disguisotron or whatever, right? Just go back here. Hello, friend. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain. If you're here to uh, better nope. yourself, you'll have I'm to a wait. Weasel. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. Our delivery man. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Who are you? <coughs> You're dying. Stop dying. Well, in theory, I will be Oh, it's a companion quest? No! Looking sharp. For the last ratchet on rotten time, leave me in peace! You ho-headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful, sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Criminy. She really ain't gonna drop this, is she? All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've gotta do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? Nope. See, Just a murder hobo. A lot. Do, 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 I might have missed a pain do, do, or two, do, do. and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. What? 
No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one. Assuming you want to keep breathing. Are you an assassin? I'll best this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. I'm in. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Totally a real person. Uh, where we got? Do I do talking to that guy? BNP, I can't believe it's not uh, Or do we want to go to the asteroid to learn about space robots or something? I think I'm gonna go to the thing to learn about space robots. Since I'm not really in on companions. I don't need no people following me about. Where are we headed today, Captain? The stars are the limit. This one. Heading across the solar system. Reached. Should probably. Switch to the actual quest here. Do you think there's actually less gravity? I really hope there's different gravities. Seems like no. Lame. Oof. That's a big machine though. Hell yeah, things to take. I'm all about things to take. This crashed ship. I think I didn't best. Silly robots. Tricks are for flame scythe. I 
gonna wait till I have literal thousands of ammo that I'm just never gonna use. So, the landing pad, this thing, that looks to be some sort of civilization, and then off in the distance is where we're trying to go. Well, might as well start heading that way. What are you? Ah, the big one! Space gorillas. Gotta watch out for them. Ooh. Hey, outlaw. You know, you didn't have to. One more thing, Hi. Oh. Oh man, he got in the way of my fire sight. Well, shouldn't have been standing so close to the enemy. Uh, no, I don't want that one. Well, I found him and his robot. Hey, yo, medical robot. You won't just, like, follow me? Bleh. All right. I have special awesome quick time. So do I just fail? Oh, no. I can still turn it in. That's fine. I'm really just here to get money anyway, right? So I should go see what that seeming uh, outcrop of like houses is about. Ugh, more gorillas. Space gorilla. Oh, it's a terraformer. That makes some amount of sense. Big ass machine. N-ray damage. It bypasses armor and does damage over time. It's it's poison. It's it's, it's just poison. <laughs> I I I like them, you know, sci-fiing it up, but uh, it, it's it's just poison.
Anyway, I'm here now. This place is apparently full of enemies. Come on, I had that. See where this last person is. You see their angry triangle. Oh, God, explosive barrel. Come on. Bollocks. Uh, oh, it put me back here. The old dead guy. So the flintlock is a handgun that does some amount of something. I don't know. It's a handgun. Who cares? Uh, One-handed that does 70. And staggers. It's not bad. It's expensive, though. So I'm probably just going to sell it. Because actually that should probably get me to the whatever I need, 10,000 space dollars, whatever they call them. Standing underneath that thing kills me, doesn't it?
Hello? Yes. Look, I'm just out here trying to level up so I can put more points into hitting people really hard. That's why I exist. The hitting people really hard part, not the leveling up part. Okay, this time it auto saved here. Weird. I wonder when and why it decides to auto save. If there's just a timer, just like every so often, it automatically saves. All right. Well, we'll go take out them space gorillas, and then we'll try to. I don't know. Do something. Because assumedly this will take us like right up to level 9 again. is bleep, listed my weapon is listed as in bad condition I think is what that means I guess we just head back to the spaceship oh outlaw You made the mistake of not being robots. That's a no. Boo. Boo earns. Wait. Aha! All right, skill points.
Hail, Captain. Your return time is within 14% of the expected. I don't know what that means. I don't know what anything means. Hey, we got there. Hey, your medical robots are never going to make it here because I accidentally murdered the guy who was supposed to deliver them. Keep hanging around and I'll begin to think you're here for me. Nope. What can I do for you? Oh my. I suppose the man finally found himself in a spot he couldn't weasel out of. What a shame. I should be lamenting the mechanicals, but... Well... I'll miss him. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me the news. Ah yes, my reputation increased. And she gave me $600 for accidentally murdering someone. This is the best. You there. Let me Grace, wait for your wrinkles to load in. I was just sitting down for tea. I would like Fantastic. this thing. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a tear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Lilia Hagen in the sublight. Is that where I'm going? Or is that somewhere here? This way. Na 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 na. D and D worst worst. If not the worst, I left it worst worst. Worst worst. I'm in. If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. I've got a fresh ground batch of Spratwurst cooking. They're terrified to lock in the juices. How about a grinder's dozen? It's like they took regular words and then made them slightly different for absolutely no reason. You know what sprats are? Space rats. The laboratories of Spacer's Choice found a use for this limitless frontier resource. Sprat meat is plenty tasty when properly prepared. We grind them up in sausages, then terror fry them in their own juices. Like, what is Terra Fry and why? Terra Frying is a Spacer's Choice brand seal. A mix of 13 herbs and spices, plus a dash of modern chemistry. Legally? No. The Terra Frying method was developed and marketed by Spacer's Choice. Between you, me, and this grinder, I've been through lean times. If there's one thing you learn on tramp freighters, it's how to make near anything edible. Might be that this old space hand put a few words in the right ears, and could be that Spacer's Choice liked sticking it to C and P by R and Ding our own special meat. Just as well, 
near about time for me to go check on the trap. I mean, to unload another crate of farm fresh sprats. They are way weirder looking than I was expecting. That flood in the last of the O2 leaks. I'm ready for downtime. Nasty and careful, you guys. Sorry, man. Salvage is a family business. We've got each other's backs. Ooh, salvage. I'm going to assume this person is upstairs. And or I'm going to get attacked immediately. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? If you say legitimate enough. Money. We got it. The Steve Doors want it. I'll take that as a yes. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Hello, human. So you're the new captain in town. Yes. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and executive director of Aggressive Operations. That does sound like you me. you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Nope. Not a word. Pity. My guy in marketing is about to lose his other thumb. It's nice to see the unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. Is Ada still at the helm? I don't know how many times I told Hawthorne to restore that smartass to factory settings. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. There's always a catch. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off-world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. Now get going. Catherine will. I don't need to know what that means. You check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing: when you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. Probably. Balcony? Balcony. Wonder if they have goods I could steal. Not murdering everyone yet. Just playing it cool. Ike's Armory. You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. Yeah, we also the people have a died before the armor broke. Weapons. For those times you have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Oh man, all this stuff is junk.
I guess this isn't bad, the pulse hammer, but. Although, vortex maze, what up? It's pretty good. Because I think that actually is 107. Yeah, it definitely outpaces my officer's spine. I don't know why this has a screw next to it. But I'm not going to buy weapons because I'm not supposed to buy weapons. Artie greeting, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen, a home style consumable protein dispensary. It is unit I do like consumable protein. Beginning dispensing sequence. Please unblock all relevant facial protein ingestion tubes. Yeah, that's perfectly normal. <laughs> Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board and You know that sound when you've snapped on an injector clip? Ah, that's how you know your weapon loves you back. I like her already. I've got a full line of weapon modifications I'd be happy to show you. Why, it gets you the weapon best suited for your lifestyle. Take your basic Deadeye assault rifle. Perfectly serviceable. But what if you like finesse? Slap a scope and silencer on that bad boy. Bunker down in a bush someplace and pop off heads. What if you like getting in close and making a lot of noise? Extended ammo magazine and a barreled heat sink to bump up rate of fire. Uh, no and yes. When you install something, it pops in there real nice, but if you want to replace it, the originals tend to snap like plastic toys. Only takes a bit of elbow grease and a spot of engineering know-how. Most ships have a workbench near the cargo hold. Ours is in engineering. You could take your new toys over there if you feel like tinkering. Right here for a start. I got a fair selection. Modified weapons are my specialty. So, what can I get you? Grenade launcher. Ho 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 ho. Now you speak my language. Explosions. Oh, hey, there's actual ones that are, like, increased power attack damage, which is something I've been looking for. Because, like, a changing attack type is kind of bleh. But actually dealing more damage is what I've been looking for for my power attacks. Not that I'm going to actually get that right now, but it's good to know that it actually exists. Rizzo, purple berry. Na, 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 na. Hey. Hey yourself. I've got a spaceship to fly. And by fly, I mean, like, tell it where to take me because I can't actually fly a spaceship. But, like, you know, it does the flying for me. Warning. Intruders will be... Oh, it's you. It's me. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, 
Would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Uh, sure. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments nah. of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. We go it alone. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Danger! Alright, let's head to this place. Do some things. And some stuff. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. We did it! Stellar Bay. Well, I don't see anyone else here. Oh, this is an elevator, isn't it? Boring. I was just going to jump. Are you going to try to stop me? Any moment now. Don't think I've seen you. Ah! That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Yes. Oh. Okay. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's always three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. Huh. Wish more folk could say that. Gets awful quiet guarding a landing pad that never gets used. You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-road traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest sal tuna in Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Aw, don't be like that. I never get to do this part. Please. Sorry. Business? Well, Mr. Sanjar is going to like the sound of that. Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Sure, I'll put in oh, a good word. And if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? Maybe. I got this Rizzo's Rangers Toswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Thanks to sure. Bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. Oh, man. I like their way of controlling your flow is with the evicted 
Uh, this totally isn't a house you can go into. The Yacht Club. Pause. Laws. Can a man enjoy the smooth menthol flavor of a stogie slim in peace? Okay. Uh, I'm what supposed to go to the Saltuna factory? Yeah. Right? We're here. Find a secret shipment or something. I'm going in here now. Hello. No. Inspection time. These are toilets. This is a kitchen. This might be the loading bay I'm looking for. Hello. Fish saw. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. I don't know what a Catherine is. Sorry. Seems I got my cables crossed. Thought you were another shakedown tough from Fallbrook. Hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. I get it. First, my auto loader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. That's what Braxton is. He's our fish doctor. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. We're not keen on rules for rules sake around here. Means Braxton skips work sometimes, but it also means no company boss is telling me when I can take a shit. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Stellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground six spacer. Caleb Herrick. Runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. Because we've got a budget, all right? And in case you haven't noticed, MSI doesn't exactly have a lot of spare bits on hand. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the Yacht Club. He's usually there. It's just the durability one. Yeah, it's whatever. Is 
It's a lot of fish. Wish I could see how good that riot control armor was before, you know, dedicating to stealing it. Uh, secrets? We should figure out which. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Which quest I should actually be doing right now. Ah, okay, so we just have to go to Fallbrook. Alright. I found the thing. Wouldn't mind smelling like salt tuna. Hello. And you're, uh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say adequate facial hair, but like, not even. <laughs> also. Well, new business turns up oof, at last. Those load times. Like, why is it? Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? Oh, I hate him already. You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. And a sense of humor, too. Did you hear that, Celia? I heard it, sir. But I'm sure you didn't come here to trade witticisms. Hmm? No, you're here for business. Business! Business, business, business. What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. Now, now, there's no need to humor me. I'm used to this particular letdown. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for 10 years now. now. We've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. Well... Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. 
And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. So they want like a nuke. I'll need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. You do tend to do that. The Bolt 52 will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. So taciturn, so dour. I'll be waiting with bated breath. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest Saltuna and Halcyon. Well, I mean, those other what people aren't producing Saltuna anymore because I blew up their factory. <laughs> You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you, Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on a rapted on acid. Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis warm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Oh, I don't mind. I usually buy things one at a time. Gives me more chances to talk to him. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. I couldn't. What if he says no? Hey, maybe you could ask him for me. I, I mean, a no would still be bad, but it won't be quite as embarrassing if you ask. Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Y'all are weird. Someone's been killed. I'm in. I think I'm gonna be sick. Pull yourself I together, man. Apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this. If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Lower right. Dun dun dun. Sweet bodies and stuff. This one? Hey, what up? What up, corpsicle? Uh, I'm gonna steal that. And that. I don't need this. That. That. Examine. This bedding slip. So, in over his head, 
gambling. He was trying to flee. And he was brutally murdered. Yes. Ooh, I can sleep in his bed. I mean, he's not using it. <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to investigate now? not how's it going do you have any valuable no goodbye you can keep your poultry some for I am a benevolent monster don't mention to Isaac. you are both residents hello anyone in here no Guess I'll steal from you. Damn, that was a lot of stuff. Thanks. Ooh, another Inferno Scythe. Can't have too many Inferno Scythes. Wish I could dual wield. You the weirdo drug addict? Oh, you startled me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? Braxton. I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you, sorry. No! Okay, maybe just a little. Braxton always has a good stash, and I just like to let loose a little. Stop thinking about the marauders and the raptodons outside, you know? Bruh, just go kill the marauders. That's what I do. Oh, damn. He told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick, and he had some meds on hand. So maybe look for him there? Great. Stop stealing. I have to steal. Laura, As you were. stay out of his things. Laura. He doesn't have anything valuable anyway. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, ba. I must investigate the gambling. Hello there. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest tossball games. No. So who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, <laughs> Glacial Age Mammoths. Everyone needs a good diversion. That's what keeps you from thinking about the marauders outside town. The raptodons chewing at the walls. Tossball's just about the only good news we get around here. When our frequency's not too clogged up anyway. So, what can I do for you? Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow. Even if he did have terrible teeth. Right. So the thing with Isaac is he didn't know where to stop. He'd get stuck on something and he just couldn't let it go. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader. Other times he'd keep betting on a losing team. Started owing the wrong people money. Ain't that the truth? 
But Elijah and his buddies are mean, and they've been pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over toss ball games. Sounds like I really need to head to this they Fallbrook place. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. <laughs> Talking about fake baseball made me level up. So I can just boost all my dialogue skills by 10. <sighs> like, I'm intentionally bad at it, though. And this is all companion stuff, which sucks. The game really wants you to have a companion. Constable. Let's go in here first. What's in here? Ooh. Stuff. Stuff that I don't particularly care about. But I kind of feel like stealing anyway. I really like nothing in here. Yeah, some dollars. Lockpick disc, whatever it's called. All right. Salt tuna. What is this place? Oh, is this another? Tr oh, no, wait. This is the other building. Weird scepter. Wrapped mask and canid eyes right here. Hey, it's these guys. Oh, someone help me. My Who the fuck are you? Trouble. This ain't your alley. What'd you say? What'd you say? Every alley is my alley. Hi, friend. Hey. What are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Did you kill a guy? I already pissed by those crates to market. That's gross. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business.
Nah, 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 nah. Man, you'd think in their secret alley they'd have, like, I don't know, a secret container or something to steal from. Ooh, flamethrower. More ammo. Boring. What up? Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Nom 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 nom. You have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran Ooh, away. Ooh, Tucker, bad name. I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. All right. How old do we think Tucker is? Because how old am I supposed to read this person as? Because they got gray hair and the wrinkle face. So, like, Tucker's like 30, right? Don't you tell me to calm down. I promised my boy I'd protect him for always. But how can I keep him safe if he's run away? He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs, and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools, and poisonous glands, but he didn't listen. Please, won't you go and find my boy? Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclasts indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Sir. Sir, one of your citizens was killed. I enacted righteous vengeance. S sir? Load, please. A fine day for business, isn't it? Someone should start a timer on these things. Anyway, what can I do for you? Oh, now are we talking now? Uh Yeah. But that's terrible. What happened? But that means we won't be able to log their testimonies. If there's one thing I've been hoping to reestablish in Stellar Bay, it's proper documentation for legal matters. Woof. Always a shame when tempers get the better of good sense. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for yourself. I like that people just believe me. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. You'd head south along the road and look for a mountain to the west. Not that I'd advise it. It's a terribly dangerous trek. But if you insist on going, I'd recommend taking a local guide. Nioka would be a prime candidate. If you can keep her sober. That's yeah, 100% not happening. We ride alone. Oh, it still wants me to do the whole local guide thing. I assume it does. I don't have to. Why? Why would I? 
Fine, I will talk to her, and I'll tell her to go pound Sam. Hi. I don't want you. Goodbye. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's, it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the, tell the blood from the mud. Don't interrupt, it's rude. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every dam wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring... Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? I? I'm Zert. You think this is drunk? I gotta... Uh, you need to get out more. Sit. Partake. Buy me a drink and let's chat. All right. We're just we're just leaving. I'm supposed to go south, look for a mountain, something something. And, you know, with how easy it is to kill these raptodons, you think that all these people wouldn't suck so much. There's just corpses all about of people who are like, I couldn't clean my dishes before the raptodons killed me. Abandoned space church. What up, my dude? I don't need your wine. I have acquired book. Bro, can I get that top hat? What up? Can I wear that top hat? Yes. Sleeping do anything for me? Oh. Sure. I wonder if there's quests that have like timers and stuff. 
that sleeping is more relevant for. Fallbrook is straight. Cascadia is that way. I guess we'll go this way. I do need to go to Fallbrook. I also need to figure out where the Devil's Peak or whatever is. Huh? You hiding? So I guess I'm going to hit, if I just go straight, I'll hit Fallbrook and that'll be like, uh, another fast travel point at least. Definitely thought I could jump over that. Come on, where are you at? Stop hiding. Let me stab you! Probably not jump in the water. Go that way. Got it. Oh, vendor. Hello, vendor. Oh, enemies. What kind of enemies? Dog things. cool if my leg stopped being broken. Okay. That's definitely for something eventually. still alive in here? Gotta keep spare ammo by your toilet. Lemon slap. It's a good name for a drink. towards fall test or whatever. This way. Processing security.
Shame about his face. Or what was his face? Really should have paid attention to that dude's uh telling me how to get to places. I don't remember which hill I'm supposed to be looking up on. Huh? Gonna find you! Get them! So many dead eye assault rifles. I should probably just start breaking them down for parts. Hey, what up? Got a grenade launcher. Oh, and a music box. That's probably a quest item, right? It seems like it would be. Can I get into this one? This is at east. If I can, not really. All right. Head back down. Mm. Broke my own legs. Come out and play. <laughs> Is there a sort function? It looks like no.
am not mad at the idea of having a grenade launcher. Not that I, you know, plan on using guns uh, basically ever. Honey? Hell yeah. Hello. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Yeah, cult humor. Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. That's a nice way to think about it. Graham would be our father. I suppose Zora might make a good mother if the two of them could stop arguing. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Agitator. Revolutionary. Ooh. Heavy machine gun, I already got one of those. Blah, blah, blah. Supplies. Ah, Bronson. Welcome to the Emporium. I'm Bronson. Mmm, hatchet. So refined, so simple. Ain't seen you before. You from one of the outer steads or what? I'm from space. Ain't you fancy? Well, I got two pieces of advice for surviving the dust back, friend. One, don't let the dust get in nothing private. It's like 10% spores by volume. You'll be yanking out fungus by the handful. Two, you can't actually keep the dust out. Always carry antifungals. Sprays work okay. Creams are better. You got nothing else? Vodka. Right. Thanks for the uh, advice. Ooh. 
free stuff. Just sitting around having a couple brews with the boys. All right. No good meat on any of them, except for the meat I keep taking. Oh, is this the morgue? Slash hospital? Slash morgue? These people aren't moving. No one sees you steal, it's not stealing. It's just science. This way. I need those. Have a bar. Good for them. A magic yeah. queen. Yeah. We felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure then. So much for the ruins. Hello. A stranger comes to our home. Nice chops. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the iconoclasts. Never a fan of speaking like that. Shed the trappings of a materialistic life, Captain. You'll find your soul much less burdened. Also, we're broke. <laughs> yes. If we were meant to enjoy the things that glitter and shine, the universe would provide them. Damn right we can't. We're being eaten alive out here. We can't be throwing bits at... Zora, please, we'll discuss this later. I'm with her. I apologize. My second in command can be overzealous at times. <laughs> nah, man, you're not zealous no. enough. Why have you come? Uh, I don't know. I'm just around. A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or, now here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. Yes. We will make do as we always have. Spreading the word of our movement is of paramount importance. Will you aid us in our cause? Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait, where is Huxley? It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. One of our sympathizers, a woman named Carlotta, periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes. Not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage.
Can I help her overthrow Graham? Sorry about earlier. Graham and I don't always see eye to eye. Besides, we just got our asses kicked in the ruins. Not a great time to yammer on about his printing press. Hey, you've got some decency in you. Careful. That's rare around these parts, and folks are liable to try and take advantage of it. Yeah, name Zora. I've been patching up the Iconoclast since day one. Whenever Graham's lack of foresight gets someone hurt, I get them back on their feet. If I can. I was a long time ago, over in Cascadia. Rizzo was trying to sweeten up animal parts, and often that mental lab coat got bit. Now I'm whatever I need to be to keep these folks from bleeding out. When he's being an idiot, sure. The Manta Queen showed up out of nowhere, and I guess the gunfire attracted Raptodons. It was a damn bloodbath. Listen, unless this is urgent, I need to oversee the wounded. You want to do us a favor or two? Go talk to Bronson. He's always looking to pass his work off on someone else. For now, I gotta get to the wounded. Welcome to Amber Heights. All right, I still gotta go find Tucker. Guess he's over here somewhere. You're not Tucker. Never seen you before. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. I've been halfway around T1. <laughs> Monarch, they call it now. Been around it twice. Stood at the hot pole and the cold. Nothing on this moon for nobody. Just a lot of heartbreak. I could probably po offer him a way off this planet. Meh. <laughs> I don't take companions. Yo, but real talk? I need to steal this stuff. You Tucker, you're not Tucker. <sighs> Tucker! Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Oh, come on. We like to be friendly around here. At the least, let me call you Captain. Whether or not you command a ship, if you've found your way here, you must be a leader type. So then, Captain, welcome to Amber Heights. Oh, and, uh, call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades. Called no matter it. what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision.
According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed Helicopter the fear of parent. danger chup, down chup, my chup, throat. Chup, chup, chup. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but Damn. she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I, I called 30s, but 42. Hot damn, dude. Stars, I don't know. My mama's a stubborn woman. I she could kill her. Until I'm dead. You know, that might just work. You go back and tell her you found my body beside the road, all mangled and tore up. If she believes me dead, she won't look for me no more. I like this plan. Oh, right. Uh, I guess you could take my daddy's ring. I've worn it ever since he died. Mama would recognize it right away. You take this back to Stellar Bay. Tell my mama I died and you found that on my body. I know it'll be hard on her, but it's the only way. Yeah, we did it. We convinced Tucker. What else was I doing? I don't know. Something about supplies or something. I have now reached the point of the game where it just starts dumping quests on my head. Eh, you know, I'll get to them, probably. Uh, I still want to try to get to Fallbrook, since I'm assuming I'll get a fast travel point when I get there. This way. that no time to investigate dudes to murder Got to remember my uh, time dilation powers. Oh man, now I don't remember where I left the rest of the corpses. They're around here somewhere, although they might have dissolved. Oh uh, well, guess I didn't need that loot. I made it. Trouble checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities? If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. No reservation, no problem. Day trippers are always welcome in our saloon. Straight back and to the right. 
If you hit the falls, you've gone too far. Check in with Ms. Malin. She'll set you straight. I am here to anticipate and facilitate your needs, patron. Guess it's true. Fallbrook really is the best kept secret in all of Monarch. Excepting the Borst Factory secret ingredient. We're a it's leisurely Borst. stopover for the more adventurous spacefaring traveler. Understand? Swell. We like quick on the draw types like you. Saloon is straight back and to the right. Once you're feeling sated, you're welcome to a private cabin. Only two fifty a night. Ms. Malin can let you one if you're interested. She's the one who runs this racket. I'll just see myself around. Damn that Take mustache. Take a gander at that mug. I ain't ever seen someone so adept looking my whole life. You don't seem like the usual pigeons we fly. No offense, of course, if you are a Byzantium gold like. Say, I'd like to do you a favor. Might I interest you in a surefire scheme? Wink, wink. He said wink out loud. Don't believe I did. No. Wink. Pure and simple, it's like this. I run our drug delivery service. Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our auto loaders with faster, cheaper sprats. Too right you are. Only problem is my sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. As I was saying, you look more capable than most of the hoople heads around these parts. What say you locate him and retrieve the goods for me? In return, I'll cut you 5% of the profit. Was that sarcasm? I'm going to assume it was not. If it's sarcasm, you've got to show it somehow, like with a wink. My Sprat carriers scurry back and forth through the shipping tunnels. Any trail ought to start there. When you've got the goods, I'll be here. Got the goods? Because I know you wouldn't be wasting my time otherwise. Wink. Ow! What the... What was that for? No, no, I wouldn't dream of it, really. Wink. Ow! Oh, for the love of... I thought we were joking! If this swells shut, I swear I'll... Nothing. I am not gonna do nothing. Don't punch me again. Please and thank you. <laughs> Though, you put that mean right hook to good use getting my drugs, and I'll be more than happy. <laughs> My reputation increased for punching a man in the face. I have never enjoyed something so much in my life. Sir, your building is falling apart. You should see to that. Also, how do you get evicted if you own the whole property? I don't understand. The Chet. I kind of want to kill him out of, out of principle. His name's The Chet. Want to make a run with me to sell a bay? Honestly, told me to take the night off. No, I'm beat. I just got back from delivering to that house with the strange. The ones that always smell like raw meat and got splotches of blood on them? Yep. Oddest thing. They started ordering cans of borscht. 
Oh, I beg your pardon. Can you not see I'm walking here? Nope, can't see a thing. Physically, you mean? In my mind, I have traveled galaxies. Well, it is of no consequence, I assure you. I shall embark shortly with my legs. I'm not entirely decided. If I'm being honest, I think I'd fancy a visit to Tartarus, so long as it's under the shield of my fantastical imagination. Okay. Hungry? I'm famished myself. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Okay, going on. You shopping for pre-owned or new? If you bloody it, you buy it. Store policy. Yeah, and? Do I look like the city planner? I wasn't exactly consulted on the blueprints when Catherine started building out Fallbrook. But now that you mention it, I reckon she had her reasons to hide us. I mean, mountain. Well fortified. We got smugglers, outlaws, mavericks, and Byzantium socialites flying in and out of Fallbrook Just ask the, the mines of Moria. Why openly spin in the board's eye? Take it you're one of them yourself. Well, if you don't learn nothing else about Fallbrook, rest assured on this much. Your bits are always good with me. Town sublight owned and run. Caters to a variety of clientele. The one you want to avoid pissing off the most is Catherine. Prove bad for her business, and she'll kneecap you without a second thought. Don't mind if I do. Hello. Uh huh. You blind little bird, or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. I do so try. Might try more for you. Cause I like interesting folks. So what are you in the market for, stranger? I got vice, virtue, and everything in between. Well, I'm half listening. If it's one that don't mind getting dirty, then I sure do. But how am I to know whether you're reliable, if not fully trustworthy? I do admire blunt honesty, so I'm willing to give a business arrangement between us a try. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Kill Clive. Got it. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that Borst factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be handsomely paid fucker who's going to get it for me. I like it. Guess you've got it figured out then. Good. Hit him where it hurts. 
in his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a whit <laughs> about the method or the means, just the end. Perfect. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. Alright, so I gotta go talk to Duncan to get my secret badge to go murder a dude. Also, uh, I should really check my journal, because I have a bunch of quests out here. Okay, so I gotta talk to Catherine. Wait, companion quest? Oh no, this is something else. And these are... Uh, not quests, but tasks? I don't know what that means. Okay, so it is just talk to Catherine again. Folks I never met before are my most favorite kind. So, what's your story? Let me just stop you right there, stranger. My question, it's not one I really want an answer to. Not unless it accompanies some extra bits. Understand? Splendid. We appear to be of the same mind. Great. Goodbye. Uh, also, hey. How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. Uh, I got sure. something else. Uh, this? Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's going to require special extraction from Cascadia. So you got a brain on them shoulders. <laughs> the thing Excellent. of a bob with the gas. Makes my life a world easier. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Meaning safe for me and my crew, seeing as it ain't us undertaking the risk. I do like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. Yeah, they're not a problem. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? Do not worry. Shall I inscribe that on I kill tombstone? bugs dead. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. And I'd rather not wait another several weeks for Lilia to send your replacement. Once you've got our goods, take them to the Groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. Use the passcode Antediluvian on the terminal to get in. Best of luck, Fixer. All right, so... Duncan at the dry goods store. Dry goods. Duncan. My dry goods come 75% guaranteed mold free. Or was that 75% mold free? Hmm. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. What? 
Not so fast. The biometric IDs are special goods, only on offer to special clients. You cotton? If some other time means during my business hours of 0500 to 1900 seven days a week, then sure. Elsewise, you ought to know I keep a guard sprat named Banshee, and she's real mean. I don't understand. How do I get the thing from him? Without, you know, brutally murdering him. Because I will I ha if I have to. It's kind of in my way. Oh man, you can rock an eye patch? If only it didn't suck so much. I test every product myself to assure maximum customer satisfaction. If you doubt it, I can show you. No rubbernecking. Not so fast. The biometric ID. I don't know. They back here? Can I just steal from him? Because I will. I will very much do this. They are not back here. Lame. I'm really confused as to how I'm supposed to do this. I guess I'm not. I don't know. Hang on. I didn't help. What do you mean wanton murder isn't the solution? I gotta go talk to a man about not being a man anymore. 
Instead, it'll be a corpse. Just like you, hooligan. Just like... So triumphant. Uh, he disintegrated, didn't he? That is the only unfortunate part. It's trying to figure out where their bodies went. Oh, I do want those uh, vending machine items. So I want to go south. Because it wraps around. Being a sniper from a d range of like uh, one foot is not the best plan, my dude. one hiding <laughs> who could have known uh physical damage nah we ain't about that The healing that thing gives you is not great. Oh, 
There we go. That went much better. I don't know, I just like clearly missed someone that first time. It took a ton of damage. Kicking indoors. Hi, friend. Thanks for forming. I'm looking for Clyde. Oh man, my CNP Borst Factory uh, <laughs> reputation, which uh, is going to be completely gone by the time this is over. Mmm, delicious Borst. But not like actual Borst. We ain't talking beet soup or anything. Ooh, I got a compass. I like how I am now actually hidden, since I apparently killed a guy and took his thing. Oh, it's just me. <laughs> error. This unit is not experiencing errors. Error. This unit is functioning correctly. There is no need for the intervention of mechanical engineers. Thank you for your cooperation. Huh. And, uh, that worked for some reason? Sure. He didn't have the key I needed. He didn't have the key I needed either. Yes, but what if we were sneaking? Hey, I got another music box. I'm sure the next person's gonna try to stop me. And have 
some conversation about, I don't know, I don't work here or something. Well, I can't hack that. Actually, I might be able to hack that if I took off my armor. That's, again, the awkward thing is I hate penalties like that. Because it's just like, oh, as long as I carry a second, you know, some sort of backup armor, I can go in and switch. Uh, so it's really not like... Uh, I actually can't. It's close, but I can't. Close on weight. Is that a twenty six? about that so it's like I could just do the like uh, hack the planet whatever mess up their thing but I really want to get into his room and kill him at least have a conversation with him you know face to face he calls himself the king so I'm curious Oh, my disguise failed. That's fine. Another music box. To him or not? No. What? Well, now I've got Clive's office key. 
it's up here. Oh, no, this is down. Oh, that makes more sense. Oh, they had Clive's office key. All right, I heal 15% of my health whenever I kill someone. I like that I just got the achievement for reaching the... Uh, Stellar Bay or whatever. Oh, see, I got a Vortex Mace anyway. Because I was looking at getting one of these. These are 107 base uh, one-handed melee. Nice. Got a sealed. How did I even get in here? way I like how I'm hidden again nothing to see here folks just having a grand old time spacer's choice diet toothpaste how many calories are in regular toothpaste? Am I not supposed to be eating my toothpaste? Killed a mega creature.
Yeah, all right, I don't even know what this place is. I just thought it looked kind of interesting. Oh, am I over encumbered again? No. Okay. <sighs> Need more access codes. At least they're all dead now, and I have no idea what, uh, what slash if there is a respawn rate on stuff in this game. You'd think there would be. Most games typically like the kind of open world sections to have, you know, a respawn rate so that if you want to, you can kind of grind. But it's hard to tell since there doesn't appear to be a ton of open space. Ugh. But, you know, remembering the... Uh, livelihood of every enemy would also... Eh, I guess you can just write that all to memory. It's not a huge deal with computers nowadays. No thanks to the help of this guy! Hey. Please say the Oda corpse you're wearing is Clive's. Not much boast to that declaration. Am I to take that to mean you didn't kill him? Hired more than were successful, can tell you that. Still, this ought to compensate for your troubles. And take an aromatic. You stink like Sisty Pig. If only it was... I mean, I guess the uh, damage to creatures isn't bad. Like, if I'm going monster hunting, that helmet might actually just be straight up better. Where's this? Oh, that is way closer than I thought. Uh, so what's that? Can I... I can't set custom markers. Cool. Oh, they certainly respawned. Good for them. Uh, so we go north, and then we want to take the road splits. We want to go this way. Some bugs.
Ooh, Manta Queen. Here, let's see how much this does. Grenade launcher was not great. Uh, so we're gonna go north. Right from here. Head up into the mountains. Sure. Being on fire is not great. <laughs> I'm never going to get over the uh, level up uh, thing. I just want to be constantly faster. The swarms are annoying. I don't even really have a reason for coming up here. I don't know. It looked interesting, I guess. Also, I straight off the path. Cumbered. All right, I should probably lose that.
Ah, the path. Oh yeah, it's really those little explodey dudes that are by far the most annoying part of this. Good guys? Neutral guys? How'd you get up here? Through the caves? What caves? Good answer. I wasn't looking forward to gut-shotting you. See, the thing is, I'm with the corporate compliance crew. C3, if you will. We're mercs. And our current contract mandates that we annihilate any creatures or persons that emerge from the tunnel. Allow me to intervene. It's my job to mediate any conflicts of interest regarding C3 and third parties. All right. First things first. To make a decision in this dispute, I'm going to need to know what your role in your organization is. Uh, I am the goon squad? A lean but efficient corporate structure. I'm impressed. Still, I gotta wonder. What are your intentions regarding Devil's Peak Station? That is why you've wandered out here, I presume. Our guidelines allow us some leeway in identifying threats to our client. Your unorthodox profession makes me think we ought to remove you from the premises permanently. However, the terms of our contract specifically targets marauders, iconoclasts, MSI operatives, and anyone deemed to hobo-like in appearance. As you don't appear to fit any of those categories, I'm afraid I can't quite make a call on you. Don't we, as a standing policy, provide an alternative to termination via financial restitution? Addy, our chief financial officer, could confirm. But I'm betting if you're willing to compensate us for our lost time and productivity due to this arbitration, you could pass. All right. That there's an HR violation. C3 does not tolerate threats made to company property or personnel. C3s, fire at will! You know, you almost did damage to me. Yeah! I mean, she didn't. Boy, howdy, did she die fast. Ha! 
Dang, these are well locked. Uh... Is, is that not something he had on him? Was his key card somewhere else? It's weird that... Oh, okay, you have to scroll over. Well, now that I got two Mr. Ouches... Yeah. Oh, now it's yellow. Huh. I was gonna. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Perfect. Well, I think I found where I'm supposed to be. So they mentioned the Devil's Peak or whatever, which is where the informant is supposed to be. And I didn't even have to hire a local guide. Although I'm gonna be pissed if it doesn't let me do this without them if they're like well you didn't do the thing we wanted so no which is very like most games Bye now. I'm over encumbered still. Do I just have like a bunch of stuff that's like. I mean, this mostly do it. Do these have any weight? Okay, good. Dang, I have a lot. The Thunder. It's a long gun. All right, I'll have a uh, sniper rifle for uh, a little bit. Why not? Man, weapons are heavy.
kidding me? I just missed like three times in a row. That everyone? Or, uh... Model spaceship. Heck yeah. Uh, it was a pretty good, pretty good haul. Elite Trooper Armor. Is it finally actually going to be better than what I have? Ooh, Stun Baton. That's worth looking at. Stun Baton is one-handed 129. Heck yeah. That thing actually does a ton of damage. But, like, then I wouldn't be using the fire scythe and... Ooh! 36! Hot damn! I can see you. Come here and talk to me. Face the intercom. 
Intercom. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? Killing all the Marauders. Nice and coherent. Good. Take it you're not with the Marauders, then. By the hand of faith and my own cunning skill, I run this station. The Marauders may have other plans. And since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I have need of you. As my newest contractor, you may call me the Broker. Excellent. I have a good feeling about our business relationship. I'm sure it will go much more smoothly than with those unscrupulous mercenaries I hired. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the Marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Bathroom and womp. Hey, elevators to your right. Get ready. Kranka, kung, 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 kung. It's me! Lots of stuff. Anyway, I got a few more of these idiots to clean up.
Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. Pew, 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 pew. This drinks to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But I admit, I do wonder why you ventured here at all. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Chemicals? Ah, yes. Our little chat on the intercom. You're looking for the premier broker for all of Monarch. Which you knew was me, clearly. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Just, it might take me a while this time. I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which, of course, has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. Yeah. My former partner, Sanjar, transmits from his office in MSI's headquarters in the center of town. Don't let him try to fool you. While his messages might seem like gibberish, they are in reality coded business orders to off-world companies. I understand why he needs the bandwidth, but we had a deal and he's broadcasting ceaselessly. Amber Heights is one of the only surviving settlements outside of Stellar Bay. Graham Bryant and the Iconoclast there got their hands on a working relay station. Now they're ceaselessly transmitting philosophist ramblings on my airwaves. No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extra planetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. Do what you like. Just don't tell me about it after. I enjoy sleeping at night. Be a doll and shoot any marauders you spot on the way down. It's the strangest thing. I still can't receive any incoming off-world communications. That's a relief, as my entire livelihood depends on your success in this one particular endeavor. So you can imagine ah, I would be it. more immensely relieved if you were to say, hurry it along. Nah. Here, take this, if it will incentivize you to work faster. Dude, sure. just handed me you know $30. Me need me. All right, I guess. Get into the safe. Lock picking is something I'll probably try to bump up a little. I don't know. All right, so thankfully. The, whoa, where did that put me? What? Um. The game did let me just ignore their whole do this thing. Which I am about. Is this the thing I got the access to? I don't know, I got access to some computer. 
environmental control computer or something. You have a name. Why do you got a name? Joy Voy Voy Voivode? I don't know. In Hudson. Well, they were here. They tried. They failed. Is it this computer? I don't know. Whatever. We head out. Increased melee attack speed's pretty good. I'm gonna have to look up. What uh, all these are. See uh, which thing ends up being the best. All right, I was also looking. Ah, goodness, where is that? All right. Didn't get the thing I needed for that. All right, and I can fast travel back there. So let's head here. We're going to try to hit that last place. Hopefully that also has a fast travel station once we get there. Ugh.
Indeed. It's like you've never had the flesh melted off your bones before. And your bones melted off your bones before. Huh? I smell blood! Kill Do better next time. God. <sighs> Still over encumbered. I definitely do need to go through my consumables as well at some point and like figure out which ones I want to keep. It seems like really you could only ever need four of any given one. keeps offering me things that are like, hey, hurt your dexterity and perception. And I'm like, how about you hurt my, like, speech? Or, uh, what else don't I use? Something there. I don't know, lots of stuff. I've melted a hundred enemies. Good for me. <laughs> melted enemies' corpses are hard to find. Also, tech. Does I really want that tinkering cost down? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's actually, like, really good. We have made it to Cascadia. I can't get into Cascadia. Always getting caught with landmines.
Okay, I opened the thing. Ah, now I have to go down. To the secret laboratory. Yeah, I'm not, uh, not a big fan of those manta-queens and their... Uh, spewing, exploding bug swarms. Ooh, purple berry lunch. That actually doesn't sound bad. Blueberries, crackers, cheese, and nuts. I go for that. So what is honestly at like sixty? Do I even care about like the money that much? Okay, so some of these I'm like holding a bunch of. That's a bit better. Let's eat a single chunk. And then let's just start. Uh, I'm not going to be using like any of this. Let's be serious here. backup armor that's good for lock picking. Although technically I should do this, right? That's plus stealth for this one. This one's good for talking. It's actually like good armor. It's got bonuses and stuff, but Makes you good at lying. All right, down to 74 in our inventory. Proximity alert. Biology human. Protocol kill all plants suspended. Present your Rizzo identification credentials or prepare to be downsized. Washing company property without authorization is a fireable offense. Priming weapons. Just another vending machine right inside. Uh, we were gonna. 
get everything in tip top shape. Still can't open that. not to hit these explosive barrels on myself. Well, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Oh no, I have to go kill more things. This is much more what I was looking for. Now I need to find out if there's a... Uh, buff that gives extra melee damage as well as attack speed cuz uh me oh my does uh popping that uh special air canister really feel uh, a lot like psycho buff and you just gah, go to town Injected into my veins. That mantis had a pistol.
Okay. We did the thing. All right, I got to try to make that jump. Put a jumping puzzle in front of me. Got to see where it goes. The mind control ray. Well, I managed to pull this off with... Out really fighting too much. I snuck past most of the dudes and then... I mean, I guess I uh, murdered a bunch of mantises, but that was whatever. Can I fast travel? Ah, okay, you can't be near enemies. Define near. Yeah, it'll do it. What's my... Ah. What am I supposed to be doing now? All right. Head to the Groundbreaker. Uh, yeah, we could probably do that. Our fuel cells are now primed with Alta Vitae gas. I would like not to explode, yes. We've arrived at the groundbreaker. or explosion gas or whatever. 
That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. 120-some cubic meters of it, at a million bits a pop. Take this. You've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm gonna buy a gold toilet to shit in. That was a lot of money. You're goddamn right. Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium. But here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. Oh, and a whole lot of extra limbs. But we don't talk about those. I guess you're just one of the lucky ones. Look on the bright side. You just started and you're already on the path to a promotion. You've been keeping busy. I hear you took on some extra work at Fallbrook. Catherine sounds pleased as a pig in shit over cornering the Borst markets. Hey, when you were at the slaughterhouse, those swine didn't give you any strange looks, did they? I'm probably getting worked up over nothing. Just try not to think about pigs. You never know, you know? No. I've got a lot on my mind, but it's nothing that concerns you. Okay. At least, not yet. I have another job lined up, assuming you're still interested in work. Does it pay as well? Salvage me a space station. Heliospheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. Both. Neither. Right now, it's safer if I keep you in the dark. I'm on the heels of something big. Play your cards right and I'll clue you in. But right now, I'm not sure who I can trust. Definitely the murder hobo just you just met. Doot, doot. Someone might try and use you to get to me. Oh, and with that, that's going to be it for the night. Uh, we been we put a pretty another big dent in the game. I think I I have no idea how long this game lasts. Uh, I know there is a bad ending that you can get to really quickly, where you I don't know like blow up the sun or something. Anyway, um, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. It's uh, I'll probably play it through it again off camera sometime you know it's one of those things where like right now i am a being of extreme violence and i'm probably just gonna go kill everyone uh to get those radio stations turned back on <laughs> just it's the easiest way so uh lots of violence to be ensued i'll probably do an actual playthrough sometime later but, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying my time. I'll be back with more of this on Wednesday. I think Jake will be on tomorrow. Not sure. I'll uh, tweet and or update the Discord if that changes. But uh, thanks to everyone who watched. Hope you had fun. And I will be back on Wednesday.